Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about parrot finches specifically. Can you mix them together in an aviary or flight? And this is a question that troubles a lot of people that are getting into the hobby because they hear that sometimes parrot finches can hybridize and they are attracted to a variety of different species of parrot finches. Let's face it, these birds are beautiful, they're extremely colorful, and they're a delight to keep in any aviary. So you're probably wanting to mix a good variety of either red faced, blue faced, or any other type of parrot finches in your aviary or flight, but you're afraid of what might happen if you do this. So in this video, that is what we will be covering. Is there a possibility of hybrids anytime that you mix species like this together? Yes, there is. But it shouldn't be a big problem if you take the proper steps prior to introducing them into the outdoor aviary. Now, let me talk a little bit about how it is that I introduce new species into the outdoor aviary, whether they are parrot finches or any other type of species. And what I like to do is I pair these birds up prior to taking them and releasing them into the aviary. So what I'll do is I'll place the pair that I want together in a cage and I'll let them bond over a period of one or two weeks and after they've bonded, I'll release them into the outdoor aviary. So what this does is it allows this pair to bond together. So once they're introduced into this outdoor aviary where they have a variety of other species, they don't interbreed with other species. And this is something that I've always done for species that tend to interbreed, like for example, the red throat parrot finches with the blue faced parrot finches, the orange breasted waxbill with the strawberry finch, and so on. So as long as you make sure that your pairs are bonded prior to releasing them into the outdoor aviary, you shouldn't have much of a problem. Now, is there still a possibility that hybridizing could occur? Yes, there is. And that is because this species in particular, the red throat parrot finch and the blue faced parrot finch, are very aggressive species when it comes to breeding. For those who may not know exactly how it is that this species mates, their mating behavior almost resembles that of the chicken, where the rooster will chase the female's chickens around, whether they're in breeding condition or not, and mount them, causing or stimulating them to lay eggs, and that is how the breeding process works for them. And this is exactly the same process that goes on with these parrot finches, and this is one of the major reasons why some people are afraid of hybridizing. If you just grab four random birds, a male and a female red throat parrot finch, and a male and a female blue faced parrot finch, and you never pair bond them correctly in a cage prior to introducing them into the aviary, once you throw them in there, within a few days, usually the males will begin to chase the females around. And they may not specifically be chasing the female that belongs to their species. They could possibly be chasing the opposite species female or a completely different bird for that matter. And once they catch that bird, they will mount them and mate with them. And I know some of you are probably asking yourself, well, what's wrong with the hybrids? Why can't we get hybrids? Is there something wrong if we do this? And there's nothing absolutely wrong if you decide to go this route. There are people that are against it because this is somewhat of a controversial topic and you have to be careful because the main problem with hybrids is that you do not want to get them or release them outside of your aviary and sell them to other people that may not know that the bird that they are buying is a hybrid because in essence one the bird itself is a mule and it won't be able to procreate so they'll start to mix it in with other species that they have of parrot finches, unknowingly, obviously, somebody who may not know too much about this species, and they won't have success breeding the birds. Number two, there are those who think that you have to keep the species pure. So by creating hybrids, you're in essence destroying a species. Since these birds are mules and they can't continue to breed, you start to slow down the process of what is generations to come and future breeding of that species. But there are a large number of people who focus on only breeding hybrids and there are actually competitions for hybrid birds. Although it is something that is not common here in the US, it is something that is more common in Europe. And let me tell you guys something, some of these hybrid breeders are incredible. 
Hybrid birds are not easy to create in most species. In the parrot finches, it is something that is a bit easier because of the way that parrot finches mate. But the majority of other finch species do not mate the same way and it can be very difficult to create hybrids. That's why I have to give it to some of these guys who are working with hybrids, some of these breeders, because the work that they're doing is incredible and some of the hybrids that they're creating is insane. So is there something wrong with hybrids? I personally don't think there's anything wrong with creating hybrids. Some of them are beautiful and you have to give it up to these guys. What they're doing is incredible. The main thing while working with hybrids and creating hybrids is that you have to make sure that one, these birds don't leave your aviary unless the person that's buying the birds knows exactly what they're buying and that this bird that they're getting is a mule that will not be able to procreate or continue breeding because hybrids for the most part are all mules. And the second thing is that you always keep the actual species itself going, making sure that you're always breeding the actual species so that you don't cause a problem where you end up at a roadblock and lose the species in aviculture. Other than that, I don't see a problem with these hybrids or creating them. Like I said before, I admire what these breeders are doing and it is incredible to see the hard work and dedication that it takes to create some of these birds. Personally, I don't breed any hybrids and not because they're not beautiful or because of not liking them, but just because I prefer to focus on the actual species themselves as the main goal of my breeding is conservation, making sure that future generations are able to enjoy the species that I work with. The last thing that we want to do is lose some of these species here in the U.S. So guys, this is going to be the end of another video. I hope like always that you've enjoyed it and hopefully I was able to answer a couple of questions as far as whether you can mix these birds or not in your aviary. Like everything else, it is up to personal opinion and what you are able to put up with. If you just can't face the fact of maybe your birds hybridizing, I wouldn't recommend placing them together. If you're okay with taking that risk as long as you pair them correctly, you shouldn't have much of a problem, although there's always the possibility and you have to keep that in mind. Comment below guys if you're working with both of these species in a mixed collection. I would love to hear your personal experience with them and if you've ever had any problems with the species hybridizing. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. Consider subscribing also as this tends to help the channel out. It motivates me to continue making more videos that will hopefully help you guys in the future. Remember about the notifications button also. If you click it, you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. Like always guys, I hope that you have a wonderful day and we will see each other in the next video.